We need to pray with humility. God will not hear your prayer if you are haughty or self-righteous because God wants us to be humble just as Jesus was humble before the Father. Peter says, be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. 1 Peter 5, verse number 5. How many times have you heard of someone praying to God with the attitude that they deserve something because they have done so many good deeds? I've heard this type of insincere prayer in movies, and no doubt many in the world have this same attitude. Jesus gives us a great example of this insincere prayer in the following verses, Luke 18, verse 9. Also, he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I possess, and the tax collector, standing afar off, would not so much as even raise his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. This self-righteous Pharisee came to remind God how good he was and how he was glad he wasn't like that tax collector. How many of us have prayed to God and told him how good we are and how better we are than someone else? I hope that you've never done this. If you have, you're just like this self-righteous Pharisee and you will not be justified in your prayer. However, the tax collector came before God and wouldn't even look up to heaven. He asked God for mercy with a humble heart. This is the example we are to follow. If we do, we'll be justified in our prayers as well. So don't forget to pray with humility.